It's next big game week here on GameSpot, and we're taking a class-by-class -class look at Evolve. So, you want to know what it takes to play the Assault? A huge swinging pair, that's what, of, of guns to kill the horrible monster with. What did you think I meant? As one of the three Assault characters, Hyde focuses on dealing damage, dealing damage, and dealing more damage, preferably in an up-close-and-personal kind of way. It takes a special kind of crazy to want to get all up in this squid demon's face, and once you go there, I mean really get in there, you'll never look at Calamari the same way again. The aforementioned pair of weapons are a minigun and a flamethrower, which pretty much makes you a combination of every badass action hero ever to grace the silver screen. When you're on the hunt, it's best to keep old Flamey in your pocket and brandish the minigun. Lil Mini is effective at longer ranges and as such is almost always your first choice for first engagement with your prey. If you start getting guff from the local wildlife or spot an elite creature that'll give you and your fellow hunters a helpful perk, the generous bullets per minute of the minigun should take care of things nicely. Of course, if the critters get too close, it's time to light them up! Hyde's flamethrower deals a heap ton of damage when your prey is in close proximity, which isn't terribly risky when you're dealing with the local fauna. When you take on the big beastie, however, things can get dicey. It seems like the very peak of madness to even stand your ground against the monster, so why would you want to cozy up to a gargantuan creature trying to kill you? Mm, because you can light it on fire. Science tells us that most animals retreat from fire, but can you really count on the sinister human mind behind the monster to flee? Speaking as a former Kraken who has been set on fire during a match, I can confidently tell you that it is deeply unsettling, not to mention seriously damaging. The flamethrower doesn't just give you an edge in the health bar versus health bar damage game, it gives you an edge in the man versus monster mental game. And that's two good reasons why you are going to spend a lot of time as public enemy number one on the monsters list. Fortunately, you've got a personal shield to help you withstand the monster's direct aggression. It renders you temporarily invulnerable, so when you pop it, don't just sit back. If it's playing coy and hassling you from a distance, as the Kraken loves to do, chuck your toxic grenades to flush it out of its advantageous position. These gassy clouds are good for compounding damage, like when the monster is harpooned, or for keeping it away from downed allies waiting to be revived. That's about as tactically complex as Hyde gets, and if you keep heaping on the damage, you'll be doing just fine. Still, this particular assault character has a unique opportunity to mess with the monster's mind, to get inside its head. Charge in like a crazy, flame-spewing, death-dealing maniac? and make that crack in question who the real monster is.